Hello everyone, today I'm handling my second part of indirect methods of contouring. Cross section method. In this method, a baseline, a center line, or a profile line is considered. Cross sections are taken perpendicular to this line at regular intervals depending upon the topography of the country and the nature of the survey, usually 20 to 30 meters in hilly areas and 50 to 100 meters in flat areas. After this, points are marked along the cross sections at intervals, say 5 meters, 10 meters, among others. This method is most suitable for survey of very long narrow strips such as a road, a railway, canal, etc. Steps taken. A temporary benchmark is set up near the site and the level is set up at a suitable position. The center line of the strip of land is first marked. The cross sections are taken transverse to the longitudinal section and marked dividing the strip into equal space divisions such forming rectangular grids. Staff readings are taken along the baseline and cross sections. Readings are entered in the level book the baseline and cross sections should also be mentioned. The reduced level of each of the points is calculated. Then the baseline and cross sections are plotted to a suitable scale. Subsequently, the reduced levels of the respective points are noted on the map, after which the required contour line is drawn by interpolation. Hence, the contour map is plotted as shown. From the sketch, the middle horizontal line is the baseline and the vertical lines are cross sections. Thanks for watching. May God bless you.